here I thought I would uh, post this video here this is one of the newer coils that I've put together um, this coil here is a F87A dash H it's approximately seven eighths of an inch across uh, approximately a half inch wide and approximately an eighth of an inch thick I don't have the metric readings but that's about as close as I can get this circuits running on uh, a 12 volt battery and I do have a small regulated power supply to keep a constant voltage and I don't know if you can see it there or not but it's uh, it's running at 13.6 volts now this is a 14 watt CFL um, this circuit right now is drawing about 850 milliamps um, that that equals to about 11.56 watts which is not real good but it is a viable circuit for a CFL um, now I'm gonna kill this circuit for just a second and take the CFL out and I'm gonna put this 19 watt uh, it's rated for 420 lumen uh, I don't know if it's a 40 watt or 60 watt equivalent it doesn't really say on here I'm going to screw that in this circuit is uh, a lot better for the LED okay and now I'm reading 350 milliamps at 13.6 volts which gives four and three quarter watts Okay, the CFL a minute ago, uh, the lux reading I had on that was 17,910, and the lux reading that I've got on this LED is 13,370, a little bit less. Um, and that's with 46 turns on the primary. Now, if I take that down to 40 turns, the CFL will jump from 850 milliamps to 875 milliamps um, and the lux increases a little bit not quite a thousand lux but on the LED bulb that we got in place right now it jumps from 400, uh, 350 milliamp to, uh, no excuse me at, at 40 turns it jumps from 450 milliamps from 350 to 450 milliamps and it's drawing 6.12 watts so it's actually a, a better suited circuit for the LED type bulbs uh, the transistor is I could hold my hand on it all day long. It's not even warm. I'd say it's about the same temperature as my fingers. Um, the coil, the same. And I do have one capacitor across the secondary. I tried to uh, look it up on the internet and get the uh, capacitance value for it. It's a 1250 volt capacitor. It's made in Japan, but I, I couldn't get a... Uh, um, a capacitance number for that value but it works real well with that in there and that brown poly cap the number on it is a C is in Charlie B is in boy B is in boy 28472J so if anybody out there happens to know what the value of that is I'd appreciate it Anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.